Hey everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. I'm here actually doing a bit of a test on a couple of washing machines. Received these two yesterday. Uh, sold one and um, received these two in the process. I haven't had to do anything with that one, but this one here, all I've had to do is change a little diaphragm in the water inlet. I think it's on the rinse cycle side of it, where because it's got two that uh, one water goes in and you've got to rinse in the rinse and, and main waters. Um, that's how it does that. But I haven't had no problems with that so far. June's over here stripping wire out, getting the casing off all the cords and that sort of thing, so we can can continue processing. I'll probably do a uh, strip out of a washing machine over here. Maybe if I get a bit of time and if left, left over. Um, I might do this one too. I've got prepared, I've already got the top of the, this one, it was only a plastic top, the old school. All, they, all these new school ones, I should say, are mainly all plastic, except for these bottom pieces. Got a tub here for all the steel, the, all the small steel pieces and screws and whatever else. Um, so I'll put that with all of our steel out the front. Uh, but most of the plastics, like I've wrote, wrote on this one, scrap, I, I do a test on that goes from there to here and I've got a whole heap still sitting on the uh, over here on the on the ute ready to test out I got I think I've got about uh, three dishwashers and about four four front loaders not sure but anyway we're not doing that today um, what today's day what we're doing today is um, we're stripping out this one so what I'll do first I'll go through and just snip a few wires. I don't think it's good wire, but we've got some solenoids here that I will be taking. A bit of alloy there. I'll snip that off there. That one off there, I want the solenoids. I might take those too, because that's parts for another one, like there is they easy to take out and that sort of thing so well this one's a bit different got to go and get some more tools yeah got to get along those pliers where are they they should be here there they are on the bench just going to have a quick look at this one no that's not going to come out of there it's a bit different this one not like all the rest that's a sealed unit that's why I've never seen those ones before never yeah that's a sealed unit so we won't be salvaging those ones we just take the uh, solenoid off the top they got copper in them and we'll deal with the metal part later put them over there on the bench missed one got there one didn't right that'll come out of there I'm taking all of the cord out of there I don't leave anything behind cut that one off there I have got a drum for all this junky wire. If it is junky wire, we'll give it a test. It's it's actually copper wire, but it's coated with a silver coating. So I just give it a give it a look, and yeah, it's that junky wire. So I'll save it anyway. Put that in the scrap metal down there. Get to and take all the circuit board off. That's junky wire, we all know that one. Plastic straight in the bin. This is just my way of doing this sort of washing machine like we'll get around to doing that one as well I reckon probably the best thing to do so you can see how these ones are comparing to a front loader
Cut that, take that that way. Right. Get in there and get that alloy out. Come on, screw. Here we go, that down there, take the alloy plate off. I haven't got a bin for the aluminium. Never mind. Cut that off, that's straight in the bin. Yep, okay, understand what you got to do there. Take those solenoids pieces out, that down there, and that should press in. To come up. Oh, come on. You better get the electrics out first. They should be held in with these brown tabs. No, screw down there's gone. There, electrics are out. We'll have a look at the circuit board shortly. Set it aside. We'll get the rest of this done first. That down to there. That that way. Now I can see what's going on. Junky wire over there for now. Yes, we've got to get this up. That's what we need to do. Couldn't quite see it myself. Little tab, little plastic tab in the middle there that was stop, stopping me. Yeah, I won't be able to get those out. They are a permanent thing. I've just got a wash machine over here finished. It can go that way. We'll go and reset it, get it going on another cycle. We don't need to spin it. We know it spins. We know it rinses. Energy saver. Well, can we do an energy saver? Four hours, 20 minutes. I hope my video don't go that long. <laughs> hey doll. Right, that's another one for June to do. Knife's over here, ready to rock and roll. How do you get these off? They're quite simple. Stanley knife, run around, you get the whole use of the cord. Do that. Bend it, bend it. Pull it off. Oh my, my, I can't get that off now. There we go. The, the earth troubled me. It's off. It's over there. I don't worry about the ends in them. Um, more because it's a lot of hassle. By the time you try and heat it up and I haven't got an urn, I don't worry about them. So I just chop the cord off. I could put it in the scrap metal as well, but I don't bother. Uh, a lot of my stuff that we do um in that way i've tried to separate a lot of the plastics out of our steel so we try to get a bit better price uh, i have hardly got much plastic in the steel like even these little pieces here the carbon pieces i think they're carbon i still throw them in the steel right that's that part there Come back to this now before we take the top off. Let's jump into this and get it done. I don't hang on to circuit boards, not the wash machine ones. Last time I took a lot over, he said they're just junk. He doesn't keep them. Um, but when it comes down to computer circuit boards, that sort of thing, yes, I hang on to those because they're gold plated. Even in your TV, flat new flat screen TVs, they got gold plates down the bottom. In, yeah, so um, things I'm finding out as I go along doing this. So I'm not too concerned about the board. This one had a real problem. So, right, we need to salvage that transformer, that transformer. Uh, and I think that's about it. Just the two transformers, probably the bit of wire off there too, even though it's only junky wire. Put it over there. 
Like I said, I do keep it. Ah, grab those two as well. Right, grab another pair of multis. We'll pull them off. Where'd that go down there? This is how I do these. Doesn't break the circuit board. Not that it's going to matter. I don't hang on to the circuit board. I put that in scrap metal. Let them deal with it. I hang on to the little transformers. That one there I'll probably pull apart. It's got some good copper in that one. It's only got the two rolls. One set of wires on each. The other one I'll put in little transformers. Now let's get the top off this. Get our tools off the top. We'll need, need one tool just to get it off. Two screws. Open it up. One screw. Come on, out you come. Thank you. And that's it. That's all plastic. Go figure. All plastic bar. This bit of wire that's underneath. And there's a little solenoid in there as well. And I've got a funny feeling this one's copper. But I'm doubting it. Doubting it very, very much. Right, yeah, drill. Let's get the cover off. Screw down there. Cover off there. And there's the solenoid, plastic in the bin there. We're just about through the screwdriver in the bin. <laughs> That'd be good of me, eh? Never mind. And that there. Pull that apart later. That's got copper in it. Put it on the bench for processing later. Plastic there. We'll give this a quick snip. It's junk wire. Goes with the junk wire. Just gonna set this aside. Too big to fit in the bin. Got a big, big skip bin sitting up the front. Right, take that off of there. Don't need that. Get the drum out. I sell the drums separate. I don't put them in scrap metal, I actually sell them. So if anyone's got a top loader, this is how they come apart. Right, especially this one. This brand is a Fisher & Paykel. It's the... The, 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 the his, here it is here. A Fisher and Paykel 7 kilo, no 7.5 kilo. And if you're worried about, like if you get one of these where it's only got the three screws down the bottom, they're quite simple to clean. If you want to get in and really clean these, just pull these three screws out, the whole drum just lifts off as soon as you take that plate off. And that way you can take it outside, give it a gurney, meaning a pressure wash. Come on, I'm going to take that off. Give it a couple of bumps. Screwdriver. That plastic ring should come off. Oh, wow. Took the plastic off. Well, that saved me. Here it is. That should just slide off. 
should. Bit of coerce and come on, off you come, Sonny John. There we go. Right. That one I won't be able to sell as a fire bucket, fire drum, because I've got to cut it straight down there and it basically just comes apart. Anyway, we'll do that later. Uh, get all this apart. Now, the easiest way to pull this apart now. So we'll take that bit of wire off there. I think that's a good one. No, I'm not sure. I test every single strand. Get me values worth. Why not? Right. Pull that up, drop that down, same as that. Drill over here. Right into there. Right into there. Yeah, I might be able to use that hose. This washing machine over here, they put a brummy hose on it, so um, yeah, I'm going to replace it. Hopefully that'll do the job. Alright, that should just be straight off. Because it hasn't got no pump on it. Pump was already removed. How about it go up? Up and out. Someone up at the gate, is there? Nope. Someone tooting their horn. Still got to do gate duty while we're here. Right, take it the mortar off. This is a direct drive. Simple one. So simple. Take the magnet off, full of plastic, can't do much about that. Now this is the interesting part, your stator. Got to leave that on there, go get a 10 mil. What we do without these tools, eh? Now, well, let's the pump hose off. Unclip it because I want that hose. It's going to come in handy for another machine. Oh yes, that's going to come in handy for another machine. All right. Looking good, that is. Take that out of there. Unclip that. We might put that on that machine because that's what I want it for, that one. That off there. Not there. That is the motor. Done and dusted with all the wire. Give that a snip down there. We don't need that. We don't want that plastic stuff. Don't need all of that. It's out of there. Plastic over here.
Now these suspension rods, you can't get the plastic off and this is where a lot of your plastic goes into your steel. So the best thing to do as much as possible is try and get as much off as possible as you can. I know that's a big mouthful for me. 15 minutes for another one to finish. Oh, come on. Struggling here. That there. That one won't come off there. Nope. Just put that straight into steel. The other ones are down here. Into there. Now we get a big shifter. We won't worry about a shifter, we'll just get these multi grips, multi tools. Oh, I gotta get another pair. Go a bigger pair. There. That's it. Got the shaft. That's a good solid shaft. Won't worry about the bearings. We might use that as a tub. Yeah. Make a good tub though. Good bin for a tub. All the rubbish. Rubbish bin. Okay. Instead of one of these. How are you managing? Yeah, that one will go. Chuck it down there. Right, that's that one. Um, what have we got left? We've got a bit of plastic here. They just knock off. We'll grab these. Just flat pack it. Line outside, flatten it. Noise alert. Noise alert. She's flat. Still the same weight. Just a lot flatter. <sighs> Stuck in this one. There's a bit more in this one. I'll finish this off first. Better check see if we've got copper or that crappy junky aluminium wire. We got copper. So we'll deal with that later. Um, put that in the motors, cut all this off, don't you look on it in your phone, have your phone live. That's what we got it for. Bit 
more steel. Put my piece there. Just to got a bit of grease on it. Alright. Motors go down in motor. We'll deal with them later. Got a whole heap to go through. Alright, that's all. Pardon? Tap on it. Deal with that later. We'll put that in the there. Move our tools. No, I didn't put it in there. I put it in the plastic, in the collapsible one. Okay. In the collapsible one. All right. Move our table. Yeah. More steel there. Hey, this is the same one as what I'm testing. Is it? No, that's a Simpson. Electrolux. Oh, Electrolux. Wow, that's the upgrade version. Different model. Never mind. It didn't want to work for us. Uh, come and grab our tools. Grab all of our tools. We don't know what we'll need with this one. That can go back in the box up here. Finish with that one. Mind me having a drink, everyone? Good old Mad Max sitting up there. Right. Mad Max number plate. It's only the wind, doll. Only the wind. Wind blowing the trees. Put our tools away. We won't need those two. Okay, probably not that one, probably that one, more likely that's a suspected subject. Go along the top here, take them all out. Oh, that's a smaller one. Okay. Now it's not a smaller one. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So that would be. Where is it? Where is it? Where's that little one? No, not that one. Not that one. That one. It's going walk about. Maybe that one. Nope. Bigger. One I usually have in is gone walkabout. Do -do -do. Oh, well, we'll have to do it a bit different. Maybe, maybe not. I want that off. Got to come off first. Be right back, everyone. I will find this tool and we'll see how we get on. Found our tool. Been sitting in the car. Use it to open bins. Unlock them. Sit it there for now, we'll probably need it again. Uh, use the long nose. Our table is a bit slippery today. That down to so. Pull that out. Don't know whether to hang on to that or not, and I don't think so. 
screwdriver. What to do with that there? Put that there. A bit cramped up here. Never mind. We won't be as soon as we start flipping it upside down. That into there. That out of there. Now there is a bit of alloy on that, so we'll take that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a bit of, bit of copper there as well. Oh, I see the problem with that. She's burnt out there, that's why. That's why she not working. Ah, right in there. She need a new board. Well, she'll definitely need a new board after doing that. That's why it's not mal not working properly. Well, well, well. Amazing what you find, isn't it? All right, let's have a look at this wire. Probably junky wire. Probably. Can't tell. Can't tell. Can't tell. That's copper. That's a dinky dye copper. And that's the junky wire. So we've got a mixture. So we've got to separate. Got to pull it all out just to separate it. What a pain in the butt. Glasses is about 50% copper because it's coated. Get that up to there so I can see what I'm doing. Sit, boo boo, sit. Ah, uh, yep, that. Onto that. That will come off there. I've got to take that off of there. They got copper in them. Devaluate the board anyway. Doesn't matter for me. The board's gonna come off. Just making it so I can grab stuff off you at the moment. Nope, that one there. How am I gonna get that out of there? Every circuit board's different. Oh, we've got a couple more under there. Screwdriver. Pry it up. Yes, I'm coming, washing machine. I'm coming, mate. Coming. Give a bloke a chance. That's the alloy. Right, take these out too. Pull the board out. Oh, come on, don't slip away from me. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me that chance, bro. Should have pulled them off with the wires. Then snipped them off. Made a big mistake there. No matter, we'll get it off. The main reason why I don't keep the boards, like I think I've already said it before, 
that they are not gold plated. They've got nothing in them. Not for the recycling bloke that I go to. Scrap bloke. Come on. Come with the out. Take a few more screws out. Everything's bipping at me. Oh, here we go. We got action. We got some action. Plastic can stay with plastic now. You attending to that, are you? You don't know where I'm up to, doll. Just leave it, I'll do it. I know where I'm up to. It's just saying it's finished. It's just saying it's finished. Yeah, yeah, zero, it's finished. No, don't turn it off. I've got it to go to the next cycle. Which is this one, 60. And I do option of quick wash. That way it's not doing it forever. And then just press start, let it run. Oh, that's those torque bits. Damn. Yep, it's running. Ah, that one there. It'll do. It'll do. Should go the next one, really. I've already broke a couple of those. Not cheap to buy them. It. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, I should be able to. Yep. Long nose pliers. Hang on to every bit of plastic I can for the next machine that we've got. Sometimes these break when you're getting them out. Sorry, I think I got it. Hang on to that. Won't worry about the screw because it's usually in the next machine. That's a bit of plastic there. Now this machine will separate that way. Usually you, you can, it's got a whole new, whole complete frame. Um, but these ones here, the, the front comes off and comes out the front. Um, I've got three in, in the shed there that I've got to um, put bearings in. So, so yeah, just a, another little thing that I've got to do. Get around to one day, put bearings in. Wrong one, that one there. Pull them apart, pull the old bearings out, put the new ones in. Oh damn. Oh yeah. It's this one here. Tool changing. Wish I had a wood make tool change. Press a button, the weight goes. Alright, get the washing part out. Where are you hooked onto? Right there. Like a so. I'm no expert at pulling these apart. I do it as I can do it. How my brain thinks. That's all it is. How my brain thinks. Right, now I can get in and take that bit of alloy out of there, but I'm not going to bother. 
nor am I going to bother with the hinge. It's steel anyway. So I'll just take the whole door off, like so. That'll go with the big pieces. I do waste a little bit of steel, but not much. Um, take that off there. next I think we'll take this off do, 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 do. little screwdriver my plan is to try and drop it out that's only plastic that went way down on the ground if I can take these springs off it should just drop out I hope, turn it upside down and have a look. I'll put it inside, something like that. That's loose there, take that off, that's a bit of rubbish. Can we see through? No, we cannot see through, so it's gonna come out the top. Well, I like that idea. Because we will separate the drum a whole lot. Take that out of there. Come on, how'd you come? There we go. There's a little bolt in there. Not wrong one, I had the right one in the first place. Now what do I do with it? Point it out everyone. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, come on, it's right in front of it there. Stand it up. Just about apart. I'll have to do this one like this. See if it'll fall out the front. No, we've got the pump here. Got a few on the bottom. Spin that way so we don't break the hose. Like to salvage them. Pull that over to there. Undo around that. front top should come off should 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 we'll have a look we'll stand him up and have a look at him have a squeezy easy I think there's a couple more of those screws or does it slide down how about we get these others off first Over to the front. There goes the water, you're getting flooded out though. Oh, 
right. I think I might pry that sucker out. There we go. That's that. That's the. We have it. <sighs> Sit that there. Oh, that's going to be a pain. That's cast alloy, motor, take the pump hose, getting a collection of those. got two pumps oh yeah rinse pump for when it's doing a self rinsing and a pump out pump take the belt off we don't use the belts anymore better off getting a new one oh, I reckon that's good good to take off anyway sitting here is not getting things done is it Right, so we don't need to take that off there. Crack that off there. That off there. That's straight up. We'll get our pump motor. Our main section for the pump. All of our copper. That's it there, put the steel in there, plastic over there, in the trash, set that there for now. Do the same with the other one, wires off, clip off on the side, clip off the other side, push it up. Ooh. Oh, pump coming out. That's even better still. That's even better still. Even got a bit of a couple of brass terminals here. The other one got it? No. No, it hasn't. Flop that that way. Long hose. I do see a lot of people actually cutting those. They're worth thirty dollars, brand new. So if I can get five dollars a hose, better for me. Do -do. Yeah, there's copper there on those earths. I've got to trace all that wire out. Uh, I need a bin for wire, good wire. Well, yeah, that's good wire. Can't see what that is. Get another tub, another bin up here. Get it there, put it in there. That one off there, off the heater core. That one there. Should be 
find to lift up. Too many cable ties on these, I tell ya. Here we go. But don't worry about the suppressor. Leave that one on there. Get that out of my bloody road. Down there. Spring there. Right, that should fall out as soon as I cut that there. Those big, 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 big tech ones. We may be able to get around that. No, we can't. I've got to take the weight off. That one there, which is good. Go straight on. Do that. Get our block of concrete off. If you know, ever wonder why they've got this so heavy? Got these. Balance concrete's in there. No point sending concrete to your scrap metal dealer. Yeah, you get paid for it, but... <clears throat> Why give them the scrap? That's only plastic. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. <clears throat> There's your weight. Alright, leave all that on there. Get to and undo all of those. Reveal the drum, take the um... Oh, we found money. We found money. There's money in here. Hear it? I've got to get that out of there. <laughs> How much we got? Oh, 40 cents. 40 cents. Wow. I got 40 cents out of this washing machine. 40. I'll put it in my tools. 40 cents is going all into the tools. Well, I just found 40 cents. Yeah, and you had $3 in the other one. Yeah, so, well, here we go. I'll, I'll add it up for you. <laughs> How much I've plucked out of washing machines. Adds up. I throw it in here. Where is it all? <laughs> <laughs> they pay for themselves. Oh damn, I can't see. Can't find it. I got a dollar out. Where's the two dollar foot? You you haven't been in there, I know that. There's one there. There's a two dollar, there's more there. Geez, that's another dollar. Two dollars, so that's four dollars eighty. Ninety-five? $4.95, I think that's all that's in here. Hey, 
but that's over time you know that's not too bad leave it in there two cartons of milk that's the way you gotta look at it all right we'll take the motor off and that's the little eight mil starting to rain 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 go away we have had enough oh damn what makes me cart up here what is what here we'll go for that one it's not the one i usually use but anyway it'll do the job oh we need a long one need a long long one well that's an easy task come up here grab a long long one all the tools you need for washing machines ah, that didn't stay in did it didn't click in Whoop, it's running over me it's coming for me it's trying to kill me that on an angle it's the motor take the screw out Undo that first. Undo that. Oh, motor can go down here. Give it a test for copper. Stan Lee. Good old Stan Lee. She's a copper windings. All right, put it in motors. We'll get to and take that apart a lot later. A lot later. All right, pull that up. Almost done. That out of there. That's got a little little motor or solenoid in there, as far as I can remember. Oh, I got a feeling, yes. Motor or some sort of solenoid. Probably a solenoid, more than anything. Ooh, yes, a little solenoid. That's it there. This plastic. It's a plastic world. Right, and we'll sit them in there for later processing. It's just a matter of we're just here to pull this apart today. Now there should be a bolt down the side, a little eight mil again. I just had it in my hand. There it is. Right there. Get that hose off yet too. Do 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 do. You should fall off. You should fall off. Why are you not falling off? I've undone you. Yep, the light's gone flat. There we 
go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Right. So that's how simple they are to pull apart. Oh, there's more money. <laughs> hey, I didn't count those two. One, two, one. Another 20 cents, so 60 cents in that one. <laughs> what luck that is. I'll come out. No more there? No. No, that's the only thing about a dirt floor. It's a bit of a bummer, but we don't own this place, so. When they work here, this hose off then we'll pull that apart I'll just have a five minute break 20 minutes later right let's get back into this had a breather come on go in the hole don't want to go in there for some unknown reason not to worry we'll use that in a minute Sit it there. I've had the liberty of undoing the nut, the pain in the ass getting these nuts undone. Um, and actually, so I could just pry that off. I can't pull it off with the hands, got to use a screwdriver. There we go. Oop, it's the things that are attacking me. Cast alloy. Oh, my battery fell off. Oh, malfunction. Right, so now, angle is down a bit more, because um, I'll have the liberty of taking the drum out. I've got to turn this over. There we go, and start whizzing these off. Oops. Oh, E10. That's a water problem. Nothing there. I'll have to attend to that, Sean. I'll get to it. Finish this off and we'll get it all fixed. Know what the problem is it's probably just a diaphragm gone I've got spare ones of those they don't last very long yes I'm coming that's all of those done Oh, they're the good screws. Might hang on to those ones. I use these ones for um, keeping fridge doors shut. They're the best ones. You pack your fridge full of steel and use them to keep it shut. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Right, sit them on the bench. Right, this should just pop apart with a screwdriver. Hopefully, just to get the drum apart. They make good fire bucket same ones. That there. That should just pull straight out. Look at that. Pull him upside down. Oh, it's got the bolt section. That's even better still. Right, well, that's that part done. 
That's got a concrete backing. <sighs> so heavy, I don't worry about pulling the heater out of them. Um, maybe, maybe not, maybe that one. We will see. It is that one. around <laughs> gotta go bigger socket bigger connection go the big tool Where was that other one? Um, we'll go big screwdriver. Maybe hammer. Maybe hammer. There's my fire drum. Take the plastic out of the inner. Bit of cast alloy. What I do with these is I actually cut a triangle like that. Then I hit the center. That steel piece comes out. And um, I can send that all as cast alloy and put that in the steel. So let's check up, see what this washing machine is doing. That's my afternoon of pulling that apart. I'll get to and finish this one off. Um, but yeah, this has got a water problem. That's what that's got, E10. Uh, how's June going over here? I think she's just about finished this tub. Oh yes, doing well, doing well. Aren't you? She's yet to pull that apart yet. But anyway, um, that can be done tomorrow. I can do it this afternoon. Oh yeah, well I'm doing too. Yeah, won't take me long. What we all, what you need to finish, are you? I'm finished that. Okay. Then so I've got to fix that washing machine over there. Mm -hmm. So it's got an E10 code. So that's a water problem. Yeah. That's a, that might be just a little diaphragm. Yeah. Um. So yeah. I'll get to fix that up and um, if you come this far in the video everyone. I would like to say hi to everyone. She's still alive and kicking and healthy. She gets a bit of hay fever now and then, don't you? Yes, I do. Nearly every day I get it. And then I start sneezing. And well, like know. I said to you yesterday, uh, you only seem to start sniffling before it rains. So it's a good rain indicator. <laughs> it is, but when, it, when it's gonna rain my hair goes curly yeah but it doesn't do that no more yes it does no you're you're always curly but anyway like i was trying to say everyone i'm gonna end it off there and uh that's our day what we've done for so far there's a bit more we can do and that sort of thing which we will be doing like i've got a washing machine over here e10 error code uh still testing this one over here got clothes in it towel pillow slip uh, a few other things like that and um yeah so yeah all right i'll say goodbye see you later on maybe you will <laughs> but anyway um 
like I've been trying to say, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, more people give that thumbs up, more people get to see the video. And also on that, on that note, everyone, if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when there's a new video coming up. So I'm going to end it off there. Punch this one out for everyone. And uh, hope you've enjoyed tagging along. See you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye.